edition of Cops is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I was with the Detroit police for 13 years, and it was very satisfying. It was a lot of fun. There were a lot of great officers out there. But after getting married, I had two wonderful daughters, and I wanted a different environment to raise them in. And when I was done examining a bunch of different um, cities, and police departments, I really felt that Portland would give me what I was looking for. We're just gonna drive back in here behind this business. Uh, get a lot of activity back here in the back lot. Looks like there's, yeah, a, like, yeah, there's car a car right over, over there. there. Passed out? Passed out. Or having sex. Well, let's Hold not on. passed out because they're moving around. Yeah, let's let's check it out. And there they go. Okay, get yourself clothed. Here, I'll put us out. Sir, sir, manos. Are they like? Are they like fully engaged? There's a hands up. Hands there's a up. fresh pipe. Can I get on the first? Oh, and please clothe yourself. No negative. Just put, pull your pants up and don't be grabbing anything. Yeah, we're out with an occupied suspicious. OK, sir. Sir. Yes. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? OK. Is this your? OK. All right. Manos arriba. Keep them there. There's a meth pipe in the back. Yeah. Seems like this might be something you guys could do, maybe. Right back at your place, rather than... Yeah, my mom is... He's okay. I know. Okay. Okay, I'll handle this. Okay, I'm Keep sorry. your hands up, sir. I'm is sorry. It, yes. yeah, I'm not Here, your pants are up high enough. Come on out. So is this a boyfriend? He's a really, really good friend of mine. There's a meth pipe right on the back seat. Yeah, right I saw that. Hey, Portia, is this your pipe back here on the back yeah, seat? Pipe. That glass pipe back there. I don't see... I don't the one know, sitting yeah, on the back seat? Mine. Huh? It's not mine. It's good. You don't get high? No, I drink. They explained again why you guys met here. Because my mom does not let me have interracial relationships. Okay. He is Mexican though, and I am Caucasian. Obviously. Okay, and your parents just aren't happy with that. My mom is how... like very, very racial, I am, and she's yes. Okay. You're Santiago. Who, who is she to you? Portia, I'm going to have you step out. That's right. Just a friend. Hey, Portia, just keep your hands where you. I can see them. You, right you know, I used to be on probation. Is this some money? How much you got? Like uh, eight bucks, ten bucks. Uh, I'm just gonna set it up here. Yeah, you can say anything you want anywhere. Step back here and lean up against the car, Portia. Put my shoes on. Huh? I'll grab them for you, all right? They're down there. There's a pipe commonly used for smoking meth right on the back seat. It looks relatively clean, but obviously makes us think that could be something more in the car. I suspect one or both of them are using. Hey, let's talk about the facts here. Facts are that I was having sex maybe before you got here. I was not having sex when you were here. Actually, we saw you. Without my shirt on. Uh, sitting on top of him. Okay, well, regardless, and that's not even a word in the English dictionary, I know. All I know is I have no wants, no warrants. You can search me all you want. All you guys can search me all I care. What's his history like? He has a clean record. This car is registered that's to him. That's his car. Okay. He works Portia. for... I apologize. Knock it off. Can I have my shoes on so okay, I can leave? you're being detained now because actually having sex in public is a crime. Now, if you say it's not, that's something you can debate with the judge. We're not going to have a trial right here. That's why you're being detained. Okay. So just be quiet until Absolutely. I talk to you again. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. I apologize. He's clean. Yeah. The car is registered to him. Um, she has uh, numerous run-ins with the law, but no warrants at the moment. Okay. You ever been arrested for dope? No. No? I was arrested for weed and... A uh, weed? Weed, and, and uh, it's, for some reason it says I was arrested for cocaine. I was like 16 years old, but I was never had cocaine on me. Oh, okay. But it was when you were 16? When I was uh, a passenger in a stolen car. Oh, gotcha. Really Let's no solve idea, this mystery. How does this mysterious pipe end up in the backseat of your car? I have no idea, sir. 
the back doors or the back windows and the front windows were both down. So it's possible that somebody snuck up while you guys are having sex in the car and it's threw this in the back seat. Happened. I know it's also possible okay. that nobody's ever smoked out of any before. Well, I'm not denying that it. I mean, it doesn't look like it has any residue to me. It doesn't matter if it's it's if clean or used, dirty. I know yes. exactly what it's used for. You you, you know exactly. It's clean. I know. I understand that you do. And it's often an indicator of other things that may be in the vehicle or that somebody is planning on using. All right, how well do you know her? Mm, like the two, three months ago. Three months? Did you pay her for that? No. She's my friend. So you've known this guy for yes, how long? Yes, I've known him for like maybe um, a year and a half, two years. And you met through work? Uh, we were, met through my, my uncle, yes. Um, I've seen karaoke here for every Friday and Saturday for like four years now. So you guys just um, meet here occasionally? Every once in a while, if I see him, I run into him. I don't call him or he doesn't call me or nothing. I'm asked if I could borrow $100 from him, so I'll find a way I pay. He pulled $100 out of the ATM machine. Santiago so he, did? Yes, he did, inside the bar. Oh, okay. That's how, he, that's how come he has so much money. Gotcha. And how come I have random money. Um, I started playing poker with money, the money I had. He said, okay, give me some money till, uh, till Friday. Mm -hmm. And then we came out here. And so what, what prompted it? You guys just get caught up in the moment? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah. Um, <laughs> Hadn't yeah. seen him in a while. Yeah, that... we went and got caught up in the moment. I kissed him, he kissed me back, and that's when you've seen this, and I apologize. Portia, sure this isn't a prostitution deal? I can guarantee you I'm not a prostitute. I rode my bike here and met him here, and he walked, or he drove his car. Wow, it's like it was meant to be, huh? No, no, no. I said, we well, you come down here so we can go out and get away from my mom? You were worried about your mom coming in and seeing you two together? Because I live there. Guarantee you, I'm not a prostitute, sir. Seems strange, okay? I understand that. I'm not a prostitute, though. All right. Well, here's what here's the deal. Here's Absolutely, what I think sir. we're gonna do. Absolutely. All right, we're gonna let you go. Thank you, sir. With a strong warning. <laughs> we'll never do okay. this. Okay. Promise you. No more of this tonight, right? We're no, letting no, you go no, with no. just a warning. Okay. okay. No more of this tonight. All right. Yeah. You promise? Yes. Yeah, I promise. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she said that she knew him for a year and a half and that the last time she saw him was six months ago. Yeah. He said that he just met her two months ago. Oh, that's what he said. That's what he said. But, I mean, we just don't got enough right now to charge him. They had a uh, pipe on the back seat there, but it was clean, it didn't have anything on it, so. If nothing else, hopefully we scared him. We're on our way to one of our local hotels uh, to assist our special investigations unit uh, with an undercover prostitution operation. Prostitution has changed over the years from your street uh, operation type problems where you have prostitutes walking on the streets to the prostitutes soliciting their uh, services through the internet. We're going to be the outside surveillance team. We're going to be monitoring the parking lot, uh, watching for the sus suspects uh, entering the hotel grounds, and then we'll notify the inside where we have an arrest team that will arrest uh, suspects once the crime is completed. And then we have a booking team that will process and do all the reports. One of our undercover male deputies uh, ordered a prostitute. We have uh, females en route. Uh, they're supposed to be arriving soon. I think you have yellow over white. Uh, I'm on the ship coming back or not. So our undercover is meeting with the uh, prospective prostitute at the cab. Okay, we just had a uh, light-skinned black female adult arrive in a, uh, a taxi cab. She's wearing a black coat, uh, blue jeans, and black boots. Uh, you see he's paying the fare to the cab, and the female and the UC are walking to the hotel now. All right, he's going to bring her up. All right. Here, walking to the hotel room. You guys have to be here for a few days, so <laughs> yeah, a little kitchen and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So. Yes. I called a few girls, so just. Is it two hundred? Yeah, two hundred for the hour. Okay. And yes. what? Are, you said two hundred? Yeah, two hundred for the hour. Right, okay. Get it in. One hundred. All right. It probably won't be an hour. One. <laughs> Like piercings and stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh. Sheriff, Sheriff's Department. Oh, my God. Wow. Grab her a check. 
switch it to put over. Yeah. Yeah. Travis, you here for a second? Right here. Okay. All right, so obviously you're under arrest. Okay, you're under arrest for, for loitering with a tent of prostitution. Mm -hmm. Okay, you were, you were brought to this location, and obviously the person that you had a conversation with in the hotel room was a, was a police officer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to have someone come and talk to you, take a statement from you, and get you through the process. Okay. All right, you have any questions? No. You good? I'm great. Okay, all right. Let's <laughs> see. About an hour ago, I called this transsexual his internet advertisement. Um, he's obviously dressed like a female, um, appears to be a female, but is a male. We had our undercover deputies order a, uh, a transvestite. They ordered it under the pretenses of uh, a couple's date. So there, there's a, a female undercover and a male undercover that are a couple. Right now, they're having a conversation with themselves, making sure that their background story is, is good. OK, it looks like appears to be a white female adult, blonde hair, a red leather jacket, black jeans, black boots, carrying a black purse. And this might be our transvestite. And she just entered the lobby now. She's on her way up. I got to knock at the door. Hey. Hi. How are you? Okay. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> welcome. You look great. Where'd you come from? Welcome. What's up? It's traffic. Yeah. It's traffic time. Yeah. Oh. Girl. Wow, you look good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We've never, Thank we've never done this before. Not first time? First time ever. Super sexy, so I was like, you know, I was kind of. Gotta try it. Play a little bit. Why not? I'm gonna pick first. Are those yours? Like, I don't know really how this works. I'm kind of new to this. I was hoping, I was hoping that because we said like 250, you said. Cool, 250. Not police, right? No. No. What? 250. Yeah. Yeah. All right. How does this work though? Like, cause I don't. I, like, like, I, I want to have sex with both of you guys. <laughs> yeah. Is that good? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's good. Okay. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I know. That's good. It's great. Hey, how you doing? Hey, put your shirt down. Pull your shirt down. Pull your shirt down. Pull your shirt down. Thank you. Put, put your arms back. Right. You don't have any weapons or anything legal on you? Huh? Ma'am, where did you put the money? Where did you put the money? I, I think it's the purse. In your purse? $300. Okay. Where are you from, Gabriel? From Antico. Antico? Okay. Okay. From, okay. from Oakland? Born and raised in Oakland? No, I'm okay. born in Mexico. Born in Mexico? Okay. Uh, basically, what had happened here today is that you were talking to two undercover police officers. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're under arrest right now. You're going to go to a booking area where you're going to take care of all your stuff. Uh, do you have any questions? No? Okay. No questions at all? No. Have you ever been arrested before? No, never. Okay. All right, why don't you go ahead and put your shoes on? Five minutes ago, he showed up at our hotel room, uh, agreed to uh, engage in sex with uh, Loren and I in exchange for money. Uh, two, 250 bucks. So um, we placed them under arrest for solicitation of prostitution. Perfect. We are staging out here on Las Vegas Boulevard at Flamingo Circle. This is one of the main fairways for while working girls walk across here. There's a lot of action out here tonight. So we'll be out here patrolling and see uh, what we can get ourselves into and we'll see what climb we can stop. Let's go. What are you drinking, girl? Huh? What are you drinking? Long Island Okay, how old are you? I'm 19. I'll be 20 this year. Hold on, take my earphones out. Long Island Iced Tea, and you're 19 years old. How old are you? Where's the rest of your phone, 
is hot. How old are you? 22. How'd she get alcohol? Did you buy this for her? No. Who? I buy my own. Who bought it for her? Somebody actually gave it to me. Somebody actually gave it to you? Yes. Well, you know, the law is possession. Right? So, somebody bought that for her, too? No, she bought her own. So why somebody buy it for her? And hey, why she buy her own, somebody buy it for you and you're only 19? I mean, we just made When you guys got the exact same drink. We just As a police up. officer, we call this a clue that maybe she brought this for both of you. You get me? Yeah, I, I understand. You're not trying to be funny. This is a common outfit for you? So, I mean, it's hot. When I come to Vegas, I make sure I, I cover all my genitals and everything else, but it's hot. How long you been working? Um, for a little bit. What's a little bit? Probably like three or four years. Three or four years? You I mean, I got teeth. To the money, so. Okay. I've been, you know. Now, what, what made you get started? Did you get um, actually, turned out by pins? I got raped into this, okay. so after the dude got caught or whatever, I got addicted to the money. So do you have another PI or no? No, I never had a pen. I was in the foster home. I'm in the foster home. All right, well, if you get raped into it, that means somebody in control of you. So, well, I'm glad of it. As a child, everybody had control of me more than the foster home, foster home, so. Hey, you got any weapons in your purse? Pepper spray and Pepper a spray pen. and a pen. How many times have you, have you had to use it? I would say in 30 days, probably about 10 to 15 times. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So how much money you girls made tonight? Tonight, zero dollars. This is your kit. Yeah, keep my lip bra, keep my lips in there. Your condoms. Everything. Yeah, you got to well, cut the condoms in there. You got... Protect yourself at all times. You said you've been working for four years? And how old are you, 19? So you've been... You don't want to get out of the game? I mean, eventually I will, but as of now, no. What's eventually? Like, what's your what's your goal? Probably in about like five years. She's out here. She's trying to make money. She's admitting to us what, what they're up to. Um, right now, we we basically detaining her because she's a 19 year old in possession of alcohol. So that causes a problem in itself. Been on Las Vegas Boulevard, and she's out here for all the wrong reasons. So for that reason, we're gonna stop her and uh, we're gonna. See, we're gonna identify her. So, have you guys worked together before? A couple of times, yes. A couple of times? Yeah. So, what's the most money you guys ever made? Probably like 1600 17. 1600 17. Well, that's on like within like. That's on a one night or a weekend? Like a one night. That's, that's a one night thing. Within like an hour. Within like yeah. an hour to three hours. Together, you guys did that? Yeah. Both prostitution priors. Uh -huh. All through Cali. She got one solicit in here. She's not in the scope here. But listen, you're 19 years old, and you've been drinking alcohol, and you have alcohol in your possession. So you see the problem? All right, I let it be a lesson learned. All right? One, don't buy any more alcohol. You're lucky I can't prove it. Because I can prove it, I'll be taking you too. Contributing the delinquency of a minor. Either you bought it for her, or she didn't buy it herself. She's going to even have an ID. That is against the law. I'm not even drunk. That's the law part of it. You've been drinking. But, but by age. law, we cannot let you go when we have proof that you've been drinking. Cite you. You've been drinking. You're not in our records here. I won't, I won't be. You will be. You will be. We already stopped you. Well, I know, but I don't, I'm not going to see you guys again. You're pretty and all, but I, I don't want to see you again. <laughs> right. And I like your muscles, but I don't want to see you Right. You get your stuff and get to go home. We do not want to see you anymore. I'm going to be what? You're going to stay with us, all right? Because you got alcohol and you're 19 years old. That's a no-go. No all right? I didn't know. The Grand didn't Spain. Know. I didn't. How old do you have to be in Cali to drink? I mean, 21, but I know so many people that drink that's under the age of 21. It's illegal, I, though. This is my first time. But you're walking around willy-nilly drinking. You can't do that. So you can go, home and go ahead and get out of here. You need to catch right? a cab. But we know we catch you somewhere else, though, anywhere. That's going to be it. The nearest cab is right down that walkway. Get in the cab and go home. <laughs> Listen to me. We do not want to see you out here anymore. Can we agree on that? If you see me, I'm not going to be doing nothing, but okay, I'm not going to stop coming listen. to Vegas just because we did, I got Listen, listen, home. listen, listen. Calm down. I get that. All right? I get that. I'm but listen. I'm just like everybody else. I'm not going to stop you. You're not getting what we're telling you, all right? You need to understand what we're telling you. We're a police officer. You already have knowledge of what you're doing out here. And that's a wrap after that, okay? So every time we see you out here, especially at 3, 4 in the morning, 
I mean, I ain't got no curfew. I'm over the age of 18. Hey, but you're not 21. You're okay, on Las Vegas but Boulevard. Come back to Vegas when I feel like it, whether I'm 21 or not. I'm right. not doing nothing but walking up and down, looking at the lights. I ain't okay. walking in no casino. Right. I mean, even if I wasn't out here working, I still would have probably been out here just to no, have fun. Like, yes, life, life is too short, and I only got one so, time So, so life is so. too short, so you got one life to live, so you don't come out and take a chance to go to jail every time yeah, for no reason. All right? It's not worth it. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. When we see you breaking the rules, we're going to take it. So think about that hard next time. You done with that warning? Uh, yes, sir. She admitted to us she's been drinking. She admitted to us that she's out here working. So it was best for her, best for the community, and best for Las Vegas Boulevard that we get off the street. So she was arrested tonight for possession of alcohol. 132 in Bush. I got him at gunpoint. Will Jess and the gang make the holiday naughty or nice? Don't miss the new girl marathon Fox Tuesday.